Hundreds of protesters hurled rocks at police today in Nairobi as the opposition began three days of demonstrations against rising living costs and tax hikes. Protesters burned tires in the Kibera neighborhood, often a critical place for standoffs with security forces. There have been reports of police firing tear gas canisters at protesters around Nairobi. Police have also arrested suspected protesters in Homa Bay in the west of the country. Schools and shops were closed in the capital and other cities as opposition leader Raila Odinga has vowed three straight days of protests against President William Ruto. The fresh anti-government protests in Kenya are happening despite the government warning that it would not tolerate further unrest after earlier demonstrations had turned violent. National security agencies have deployed all available resources to maintain law and order. This is the third time this month the opposition has staged mass rallies against the government accusing it as illegitimate and responsible for the cost of living crisis. Two weeks back as well, police had to fire tear gas protesters in Kenya's capital Nairobi and other parts of the country to break up demonstrations called by the opposition against newly imposed taxes by the government of President William Ruto. Both rounds of protests earlier this month had descended into violence when police fired tear gas and in some cases live rounds at the crowds. At least 15 people were killed and hundreds were arrested. Those protests had completely paralyzed streets in Nairobi and other major cities and had even started to hurt the country's already fragile economy. Same as the last times, this time as well, the opposition leader Raila Odingo's Azimio Alliance has called for the demonstrations to protest a new law that sees new or increased taxes on fuel and food and introduced a housing levy for taxpayers. Kenyans are struggling with a biting cost of living crisis and the cost of food and other basic commodities have skyrocketed. Food prices have seen an almost 16% increase in just a single year. The country is also going through an intense cash crisis. It does not have enough money to pay workers in its public sectors and elsewhere. The finance bill signed into law by Ruto last month is expected to generate over $2.1 billion for the government but it has also led to new taxes and increases on basic goods including fuel, food and mobile money transfers. In particular, the law provided for an increase in VAT on fuel from 8% to 16% as well as an unpopular levy on salaries to finance a low-cost housing program. Although the government argues that these measures will create jobs and reduce public borrowing, but the opposition groups assert that the tax hikes will only exacerbate the hardships faced by Kenyans who are already struggling with the soaring prices of basic commodities.